Hello, my crafty friends. It's Scrap Diva 29. Happy Friday. I'm back to share with, with all of you. I can't even talk. It's Friday. Um, a pocket letter that I've made. Um, I'm doing a swap with Sue Ann Thomason here on YouTube. Hi, Sue Ann. Um, I hope that you like this pocket letter that I've created for you. Um, I heard in some of your videos that you like lavender and purple, so I kind of went through my stash and found this paper line and um, thought it was pretty and thought you might like it because I know you kind of like vintage and shabby. So um, this is what I've made. Okay, so I'll just go through the pockets. This first um, set of pockets up here, I've just added some really pretty lace and then backed it with pretty cardstock. Um, this is a die cut, it's dimensional. And I added some paper roses and a hello and glitter. And this is from the Prima collection, which I just put out um, on the front of the pocket. Um, this pocket down here is one of those wooden pieces from Michaels, and I used some um, frontage glitter and uh, Versamarks and um, glittered this up real pretty. Um, I really like the way it came out. And I made a little pocket right here, and I did my little shaker a little bit different this time. Um, I did use a Spellbinders die to cut out the center, and then what I did was I backed it with acetate, um, and then I just stuck it in the pocket and then sewed it up on the top, um, and then added this cute bow and um, stamped, Your Kindness Warms My Heart. And this pocket right here is the um, cutout from right here. I added a dimensional butterfly and then added this little bow with bling on the outside of the pocket. Um, moving along down here, I added more lace on these last three pockets and um, used a, a border punch right here and this Tim Holtz Tea Time die. And I used some shiny iridescent paper that I recently had gotten from, I think, Tuesday morning. I like how that came out. And then this is one of those Martha Stewart um, flowers, and it's lavender, and I just thought it was pretty, and went with this pocket letter. Along the side, I did use some glitter paper, and I just stuck that in. I've never done that before, so this is my first time adding paper instead of washi to the side of the pocket letter. Um, and then here's my bottle cap that I've made, and I just added some, um, some ribbon and um, some, uh, what is this called? Just some ribbons right here. And then here's the bottle cap. And I think it came out really cute. It's nice and shabby for Anne. And that's, I think, Bella Rose paper that I used. And then a cute little birdcage charm that I found, I think, at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And then I added one of those little tiny um, charms right here. And some beads. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Um, it's really pretty. I hope you guys can see it. So, Sue Ann, this is your pocket letter. I hope that you like it. Um, I'll go ahead and share the back really quick. Um, I've added some goodies in this pocket, vellum star and some metal pieces, my note, some Prima buttons. Um, I've gifted her some bows. And this is the back of my shaker pocket right here. It's sewn, so she's not going to be able to use it, but it's just for decoration. It's pretty. I'm gifting her a frame from Hobby Lobby. I had to cut it up, but I just put what kind of frame and the name of it on the back. And then one of these um, bow charms right there. Um, I die cut a bunch of words that she could use on future projects. I've added some bling. And then I'm gifting some sequins. All right, guys, this is my pocket letter share for today. I hope that it's not too much of a glare. I've got bright sunlight. Hope it's all picking up. Well, thanks for watching. Happy Friday, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.